to startuprad.io, your podcast and YouTube blog covering the German startup scene with news, interviews, and live events. Hi, how are you? Ah, I'm doing great, thank you. We've been talking a little bit before, and you're the CEO and co-founder of the company. But before that, I'd like to you to go a little bit because you've been traveling widely recently for your business. Can you first tell just a tiny bit about that before we go into the company? Um, sure. Yes, uh, quite a curious story. So. My name is Nikita, uh, and I'm from Russia originally. And I think by the nature of my life, the business as well is created quite internationally. Uh, I started this this project as a project with my co-founder in Chile, and then uh, and then we were lucky enough to get support from different governments uh, to develop this technology and this product and so we we got support from government of uruguay of puerto rico of chile and uh, because of that i had an opportunity to travel to all these great places and establish our our footprint i guess uh, in all of these places and so now that our product is on the market we're able to tap into each of the local ecosystems most recently so this year i moved away from chile to puerto rico um, then there was an unfortunate circumstance of a, of a hurricane, uh, which uh, led to me leaving it quite uh, abruptly. And I went to France, where we were implementing uh, our product. And now I'm in Germany, thanks to the Innovation Center uh, here in Darmstadt. Right. Uh, now to the core question. <laughs> uh, the company is called Intellag, and we are an ag tech startup. Intellag enables data-driven agriculture. I think that sums up all of our all of our activities and our vision. What we really drive towards is to be able to understand nature and to be able to work with nature to produce the best the best result we we created uh, different microclimate sensors to monitor the conditions of your soil of your of your temperature humidity soil radiation everything that mother nature sort of provides uh, to the plant and then we collect all this information in our software uh, analyze it in real time and provide try to provide actionable recommendations to the farmer. So what to do, when to do it, uh, and how much. Unfortunately, we cannot stop rain. <laughs> uh, not yet, at least. Uh, but maybe we're working on on these on these solutions too. <laughs> Right, great, great example because this is one of our clients. Um, so, if you're an avocado farmer or any farmer, but in this particular example, what you need to do is to provide the plant with perfect conditions. And so, when the, when nature doesn't provide them, you try to uh, substitute nature uh, with your activities. So, in case of avocados, it's quite a water-intensive crop. It requires a lot of irrigation, but it also requires sun and uh, warm warm climates so what happens is that in in those areas where you have a lot of sun you sometimes don't have enough water so a lot of the a lot of the agriculture what I want to say is irrigated so one particular uh, use case and value that we provide is that we monitor soil conditions soil moisture soil temperature so we provide them with our 
Star device, which is one of our core kind of hardware innovations. And uh, we installed those probes in different management areas in his field. And then combining this information, the soil information with uh, weather information to calculate what is the water balance in the system, we are able to determine how much water do you need to replace uh, into the into the system so that the av the avocado tree keeps keeps growing and keeps producing better and more more uh, fruits. So yeah, that is that is one example. Other examples include um, some other key kind of areas of management of your avocado field would be to try to prevent diseases from happening that could ruin your your crops or they could damage the fruit uh, try to uh, and for that as well all the diseases they flourish in sort of certain perfect conditions climate conditions so we monitor that and we alert him uh, when when the disease pressure as they say is is high I know there are lots of ideas out there, like a policeman, like a firefighter, but I haven't heard any any guy talking about, I want to have a startup. How did you get there? Right. Um, for me, being, a, being, being an entrepreneur is uh, just the ability to implement some of the ideas that I had and to the ability to make an impact very early on in, in my life. So... I was, in fact, my background is in finance. I used to work uh, for a bank and then I worked for an investment management firm, which was also a charity. So it's quite a curious case. Uh, but I was working in finance and I, what, I, what I was missing, I think, in my life was um, this clear kind of impact that my work was making on the world. And I think when I, when I, Got an opportunity to execute uh, this project, start Intellag. This was one of the primary personal drivers uh, for for doing that. Um, and the the way I the way we kind of got to that uh, to the idea of agriculture in general, I think there was always a little bit of agriculture in me because my great grandfather was a scientist. Uh, he was a professor of agriculture in in Moscow. And um, he actually invented something, which I don't know what it was, but it was radioactive and he died from it. <laughs> uh, but uh, then I, we, we had some friends who were working in fruit production. And so we just started to discover what kind of problems people face uh, day to day. The industry was very attractive, not only from the economic perspective, but actually from the human perspective. It's very nice to see how your food is grown. It's it's very interesting to understand, and and immediately you try to make it more efficient because immediately you notice that certain things are not working, and because it's so close to you, it's food you know that you eat. You feel like I want to help it. I want to I want to make it better, and I think that's and that's how I I got to it. And since then, I have never looked back. Thank you. What did you get so far? You were actually at the beginning, but what did you get so far out of the accelerator program? Right. Um, the accelerator program is, um, I find it very exciting. Uh, the company is. Um, moving quite strongly or has great vision in uh, precision agriculture. They recognize it as one of those crucial fields and that resonates with our vision. We think that agriculture as a basic industry is definitely uh, in need of, of change and in need of innovation. And um, one of the benefits that we get is access to all these uh, bright engineers and brilliant people working here at the Innovation Center to really come up with uh, very specific applications of uh, of their core strengths and our core strengths, and combining them into uh, into future uh, potential projects, uh, revolving yeah revolving around uh, biosensing. So what uh, the innovation center is strong at uh, is you know the. <clears throat> 
biosensors, anything to do with molecules, with uh, chemistry. What we are strong at is engineering, data processing. And so combining that allows us to create very different types of devices that we would do uh, separately. And so that for me is, is quite exciting and also of, of course, the, uh, I mean, the power of the organization to really bring the product to market, really help us to uh, grow globally uh, with so much experience and so much tradition, uh, we are able to, to tap into that network and to, uh, to, to use it for, for our geographical expansion. Thank you. Thank you. That's all, folks. Find more news, streams, events, and interviews at www.startuprad.io. Remember, sharing is caring.